Third <laughs> grade in Miss Adams' class, an emotionally scarring time that I'm still trying to forget. It's not like I was a loser, and it's not like I didn't pass. See, it has to do with what happened to Jorge, our class pet. Um, we have this tradition on every Friday where one of us was picked to take him home. So, well, I finally asked Miss Adams, could this be my day? I thought maybe if I'm verbal, I could go home with this gerbil tonight. But my dad was allergic, and my mom was murophobic. It's a real thing. I knew exactly what this situation would require. So when mom showed up at carpool, I stuffed Jorge in my pocket. But I forgot about him till our nanny found him in the dryer. <laughs> to tell all my friends that poor Jorge was dead. Katie Thompson told me that killers burn in hell. Miss <laughs> Adams took my hand and she said, That a momentous life shift. Watching the guys in my frat ask my grandma out on dates. Well, my dad hands me this paper, his graduation gift, the only documentation of his parents' immigration to the States. He looked at me with pride and said, I'd like for you to have it, because our heritage can teach you more than what you learned in class. Well, I misplaced the paper, but that <laughs> night at Beta's party, my friend was drunk and found it just in time to wipe. <laughs> yeah, 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 you see where this is going. <laughs> we packed the car and headed home, and things were fine till I told my family their gift had been stained. <laughs> Grandma said a prayer for me. Mom began to cry, but my father stopped the car and explained. Oh. is crapped up on. Tomorrow is a brand new day. Everyone makes a couple mistakes somewhere along the way. Looking back, I can't pretend that I don't see the trend. I'm not dependent.